In this video I'm flying from Budapest all the way to Tokyo, spending 16 hours in the air flying 11,000 kilometers and this ultra long coil trip costed me a total of 300 euros round trip. So let me show you what it's like flying SAS Scandinavian Airlines on a 13 hours long haul flight. First I had to take a flight from Budapest to Oslo arriving at midnight and spending the night at Oslo airport. In the morning I took the first flight to Copenhagen at 6 am and after a 4 hour layover in Copenhagen I started my 13 hour long journey to Tokyo. After a quick 55 minutes flight from Oslo to Copenhagen, I'm having a breakfast in the Aventir Lounge at Copenhagen Airport, which is located in the non Schengen area. So I had to go through passport control first. And this lounge, as you can see, is located on the top of the building, top of Pier C, so over the sea gates, where most of the long haul flights are departing from. My gate is C29 and before they allow you in the pre-boarding zone, they're gonna check your passport and boarding pass. And once you got in the pre-boarding zone, you can have a closer look at the aircraft. And here is my beautiful A350-900 taking me to Tokyo today. Among frequent flyers, SAS is well known from its under 26 use tickets, which basically means that if you are between 12 and 26 years old, you can have a huge discount on several flights in several time periods, even on domestic and long haul flights. So thanks to aviation travel deal pages, this particular deal grabbed my attention and I noticed that SAS is selling used fare tickets from several Scandinavian cities to Tokyo and the cheapest was from Oslo with a connection in Copenhagen. All you have to do is to select use as a passenger when you book on an official site of SAS and here you can see, I will show you a New York example. Uh, if you click edit search and uh, select the date and if you tick lowest fare in the corner it will display you all the used fare tickets for this journey and there you will see that it's way cheaper than the normal tickets so one way 157 euro and the other the journey back is only 112 euros from New York and that's that's pretty good so basically this is the answer for the question of how did I found a 300 euro round trip ticket from Europe to Japan. SAS currently owns four of these A350-900s. They used to have six, but during the COVID-19 pandemic they had to sell two of them to avoid bankruptcy. By the way, SAS was close to bankruptcy many times, but somehow the governments always saved this airline. And thankfully SAS is still with us and now I have the opportunity to fly to Tokyo. The first impressions of the cabin is, well, grey. Grey and grey. Now I'm in the premium economy section and you can see that on the seats there are amenity tickets and water prepared for them. And now I'm already in the normal economy section and I'm moving further back to row number 42. As you can see that fresh pillows and blankets are provided for all economy passengers and they are prepared on the seats for you. This row is gonna be my home for the next 13 hours and I know that the flight is not gonna be full and I'm gonna have a free row for myself. My bag is stored in the overhead bin and this is gonna be my seat. So here you can see that they provided blankets and pillows for free. This is the small comfortable blanket. It was very nice actually and a very average normal pillow. Is strictly forbidden in all areas of the aircraft, including the lavatories. 
all lavatories are equipped with smoke detectors. If the cabin air system should fail, supply. To release the oxygen, you will have to pull quite hard. Place the mask over your nose and mouth as quickly as you can. Tighten the mask to your face using the elastic bands and begin to breathe normally. Make sure your own mask is fitted correctly before helping anyone else. In the unlikely event of an emergency landing, please adopt one of the following positions depending on your seat. So let's see how the IFE system is working on this aircraft. The map is very basic, you can zoom in, you can switch manually so it's system controlled and only 4 map views are available so I'm not very satisfied with this. Right after takeoff an earplug was provided for everyone for free. Okay, and one thing I always very appreciate uh, is the live camera. And this A350 is equipped with live tail view and landing gear view cameras. It's pretty cool. So the beverage service is a little bit different from other long haul carriers. Let me tell you how it looks like. So first everyone gets a free bottle of water and after that they start a drink service of all kind of drinks. And only the first round of drinks is free of charge. You can ask for maximum of 3 drinks this time and you get them for no charge. But if you would like to drink anything else during the rest of the flight apart from tea, coffee and water, you have to pay for those. At least one free hot meal on this 13 hours flight is free of charge and it now it means a dinner well this meal is not very appetizing and it wasn't tasty it was spinach mashed potato and vegetable sauce with carrots and two slices of chicken and that's it the salad was dry and everything but not fresh the cherry pie was good and we received an additional bun with butter and that's it uh, it's a very basic meal and I I stayed hungry after this. And at this point I already used my free drink options, so I either buy drinks or use the free coffee and free tea options. The toilet was clean, so I have no complaints about this, and only one refreshment towel was available in the toilet, and I was keep checking it during the whole flight, and I the crew did not bring new ones, so that's sad. After finishing the meal it was time for a long nap. Actually as I was the only one in the row I could open all the three pillows, all the three blankets so I had a pretty comfortable sleeping zone on the three seats so I have no complaints about personal space. But as you can see almost every second passenger had a free row or at least a free middle seat. We are already cruising over the airspace of Kazakhstan and still more than 8 hours left to go. By the way, tea and coffee service was available for no charge during the whole flight, so every time you went to the galley, the crew was like, hey, you want some tea, you want some coffee? So even though no other drinks are free, I really like that they kept these three drink options, so water, coffee and tea free.
I had a long and comfortable nap that I didn't realize that the crew started the breakfast service and when I woke up there was like 40 minutes left from the flight and my breakfast was prepared next to me on the tray table and I had like 10 minutes to eat it, that's why I only took this short video. And um, it was alright, a fruit box, a salad and tomato, cheese, ham and a bun with butter and jam, it was completely alright. Around 35 minutes before landing, everyone received these immigration papers and costumes declaration stuff. Uh, we had to fill them out and later handle it over to the costume guards at Tokyo Airport. Local time now is 9 minutes to 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Yes. We do hope that you enjoyed this flight with Sasa Star Lines. It was a pleasure having you on board and we look forward to seeing you soon again. Until next time and from all of us at Sas, thank you and we wish you a very nice day here in Tokyo or in other places journey wherever you're going and a nice weekend. Thank you and goodbye. Once you disembark the aircraft, it's the beginning of the Great Walk. You have to walk quiet a lot under the passport control zone where you have to hand over the documents, the immigration form and the customs declaration form, what you filled out on the plane. And uh, then you get your stamps into your passport and you're good to go. Thank you very much for joining me on this 13 hours long flight from Copenhagen to Tokyo. I hope I could tell you the most important facts about this flight and once you fly with SAS on a local flight you will be prepared and know what you can expect. By the way, there are two airports in Tokyo, a Narita airport and a Honedo airport. And SAS will bring you to Honedo airport, from where getting into the city center is very easy, you just need to take a metro to Shingawa station, from where you can make a connection and get into Tokyo main station very easily, so it's really not complicated. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon in another video, bye bye!